Welcome everyone, my name's Ali A. I've kicked off a series called Weapons of World War II, where we are taking guns that will be in the brand new Call of Duty World War II that is coming out this November 2017 and using them in any games that they have appeared in prior to this brand new Call of Duty game. So it gives me a chance to jump on some of the older Call of Duties I absolutely love and use some old weapons that I also really enjoy. We kicked off episode one with the STG 44, also known as the MP44, and had some banger. Banger gameplays. It was absolutely amazing. If you missed it, I'll link it down below. And today we are going to be using the infamous MP40 that really came to the frontier of amazingness in Call of Duty with World at War, where it was just known as the most broken, amazing, ridiculous gun in the game. And that is actually where our adventure starts off today because we're going to be playing Call of Duty World at War using the crazily broken MP40. We're then going to be playing Black Ops 3, where the MP40 has also been introduced. And then we are also going to be trying to get a classic playlist game game on Advanced Warfare with the MP40. Last time we didn't have quite as much luck, unfortunately, but we will be attempting it again today and hopefully we can find one of those lobbies. Now, a quick little side note is that I wanted to play Call of Duty 2 for this episode because many of these guns in this series are obviously in Call of Duty 2, but I couldn't get it to work on Windows 10. If any of you guys have got COD 2 working on your PC and have any help, tweet me, let me know in the comments because it's a game I'd love to introduce into this series and no one really plays next Xbox, unfortunately, so fingers crossed we can get that fixed as well because that game is amazing and we fit this series so so well. So without further ado guys, if you're excited for this, smash the thumbs up button. When it comes to the end of the video, I'm going to be rating the MP40 out of 10, letting you guys know how well I think it will perform in Call of Duty World War 2 based off the games that we've had so far in the video. So I hope you guys are excited for that. So without further ado, shout out to all the notifications, got the notifications turned on. Really, really appreciate it. You'll be some of the first people in the world to see my videos and that is always amazing. So guys, I've got World at War booted up. So excited to use the MP40 40 again. So without further ado, let's jump into it and give it a go. Guys, this is amazing. The smallest map in the game, Dome, with the best close quarter weapon in the game, the MP40. This has potential to be absolutely unreal. Let's just not mess this up, okay? Obviously, if you're using the MP40, you've got to use a round drum as well. Oh my god, no, he's a hacker. Run, run. We found a hacker, no! I was so excited for this. I don't think so. Look at him camping out, trying to take me out when I wasn't expecting it. Oh my God, so many people over there. This is the perfect map for the MP40. I've got the round drum on, obviously, because that is the best attachment and you can literally shoot for like five years and never have to stop reloading. That is how ridiculous it is. So why would we use anything else? We've already got ourselves Oh my god, we're one-off dogs. One-off dogs, don't you dare let me die. Oh no, we were one-off dogs. That would have been destruction on this map. And the hacker is running through airstrikes. Good job, bro. Your mum would be proud. So because of the damage output this gun could deal in Call of Duty World at War, it just became known as the best gun in the game. And rightly so. Like, it is absolutely ridiculous. And as I said, with the amazing, the amazing round drum attachment, it meant you just didn't have to stop shooting. And then as a result, a gun that was already very, very good just became, like, absolutely ridiculously broken. And everyone, everyone used it. Oh, and with headshots as well. This thing can drop people in literally a few bullets with a gun that, that has... Where on earth there he is? Oh my god, I was like, just spray! I don't, it doesn't even matter if I miss, I've got enough ammo to last me five years. Can I call my airstrike in? Let's go for it. And ever since this gun did so well in this game, whenever it is like relaunched or added in as a DLC weapon, I'm like, bro, it better be just as good. And most of the time it's toned down a little bit, so don't expect it to be as good as it is in this game in the other Call of Duty we go on to play. Just a heads up, because this is a little bit of an exception. Oh my god, mod menu loaded. No! Elevate, don't do it! Where even, he's not even on, oh my god, he's 16 and two. No, he's gonna have dogs, he's gonna have dogs any second. No, elevate, don't ruin this experience, I'm having so much fun. Oh, oh, okay, one more, one more, we can get ourselves dogs. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we did it! Move! Call these bad boys in before the hacker can! Oh my god, this game is amazing. I honestly adore Call of Duty World at War so, so much. And just don't have... 
Oh, man, that could have been a cheeky little quad feed. And have so little bad to say about this game. It is just absolutely amazing. This is probably a very, very close experience to what Call of Duty World War II would be like. A lot of people are actually getting the name mixed up when Call of Duty World War II got announced, thinking it was Call of Duty World at War II, which obviously it isn't. Well, only one more kill, though, and this game will be wrapped up for Call of Duty MP40 Guns of World at War. There we go. Even getting the final kill. 24 and 7 with dogs against someone that I am pretty sure was hacking. Even brought up a freaking modded menu. Elevate. That ain't cool, bro. If you're going to jump on an old Call of Duty game that we all love so much, please don't hack it. We're just here for nostalgia. We're just here to have fun. That's all we want to do. So, game number one. Showing the power that the MP40 has and just how crazy it is. However, as I said, moving into the next Call of Duty games, it, it is lessened a little bit because it couldn't return as ridiculous as it was in this game. But hey, let's just check it out. Moving on to Black Ops 3 next. Let's see how good the MP40 is there. Oh, boys, the MP40, actually called the HG40 in Black Ops 3. But when this gun dropped as a DLC weapon, everyone was so pumped. They're like, yo, is this gun going to be good? And oh my God, hold on. What the hell? How did I just get away with that? <laughs> I'm like, I need to slow down for a second because that was a great little start here. I've got the UAV on, the Sentry, and the Wraith. I feel like it's like some higher streets and then some lower streets just to mix it up a little bit. Oh my gosh. I we are getting rushed so heavily and I'm just somehow picking off the odd person. <laughs> And when I did a video when this gun first came out to Black Ops 3, it, I went back and it actually has 2.5 million views for people wanting to know if it's going to be as good as the World at War counterpart. I was a little disappointed. I did get a great gameplay with it, to be fair, when it first came out. But I only ever liked to, like, I try and get as best gameplay as I can all the time, obviously. But I didn't really use it much after that day, surprisingly. Oh my god, I had three bullets left. Oh, like, in situations like that, Often it can fail me a little bit. I wasn't too keen on the recoil, but honestly, since having the AK-74U being added to the game, this gun, I'd say, is better than the AK-74U. So I'm surprised I didn't use it more, to be honest with you guys. Oh. It can surprise me, this gun, you know. And then sometimes it doesn't, but hey, hey, <laughs> it does definitely surprise me in a good way. I mentioned this in the World of War video, but when you have a gun that is good, as good as it was in, in COD 5, and you add it into another game, hey, people are going to love you for it, but if you make it as good as it was back then, people are also going to hate Treyarch. So they had a balancing act to do, so it was never going to come back quite as strong. But to be honest with you, as I said, like it's definitely stronger than I thought it was initially. That guy did not even realize we just crossed each other. <laughs> no! Oh my god! How did I not kill the easiest guy of all three of them? I thought I was about to get a combat focus triple kill on those guys with an enemy wraith. Oh my god, it's got destroyed. <laughs> Somehow. I think the enemy's got a wraith from a care package. What is that about? This is coming down to be a very, very close game. I just want to get the win here. That's what we're going for now, all right? The win. The win is what we want. I did not mean to slide that far. Oops. It's okay. It's okay. We've got to wave it. Just. Jeez Louise, how are we still alive? This gun is so much better than I remember it being. I want to go back and use it more, you know. Oh, my God. I took my finger off the shoot button because I wanted to call in that UAV, and it almost killed me. Oh, he's back for revenge. He hates me. Someone bait him out. Oh, my God. How? How? Whoa. Oh, my God. We were so close to the Wraith. Oh, man. This, this is actually... I don't know how, but somehow improved the rating of the MP40 in my mind. This gun is even better than I remember it being on this game. Sentry gun, go and wreck havoc on them. Go on. Oh, wow. Oh, my. I actually. This needs to be watched. <laughs> I've dropped my controller in so much shock. He accidentally shot me with his rocket launcher. What is life? I think we're going to win this. If our team can stay together, this looks like a victory. Nice. Yes, sentry. Oh, one more kill, guys. One more kill is all we need. Wow. Okay, nice. Can't lie. I thought this would start off with. MP14 World at War, drop down for Black Ops 3, and drop down again 
for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. But actually, with some of the kills and some of the little, like, group kills I got with this gun, it has better recoil and more damage than I ever remember I ever having. So, it has actually stayed pretty even in the World at War level. So, guys, there's two games down. We're going to end it now with Advanced Warfare, where I try and play a classic playlist. So, fingers crossed we can find a game. Let's see. So, we have the MP40 on Advanced Warfare. This is a legendary Afterburn version, one of the free World War II weapon. Legendary variants, they're giving out to everyone that's playing Advanced Warfare leading up to E3, so make sure you're jumping on and getting those free guns. This, however, is where it all comes down to. Can we find a classic game of Advanced Warfare? Oh my god. There's three other people. The last time I tried this, me and one other person sat in the lobby for about 30 minutes and nothing happened. So this isn't looking great. Oh my gosh, I'm actually nervous. This is our final game of today's video. Unfortunately, it isn't classic. I sat in that lobby for ages. Yeah, Nothing happened. Oh, so annoying. I wanted this to all be about me playing in the classic playlist. And it just didn't quite happen. I'm not going for that guy because I know he's got a sniper. And I've only got an MP40. So I remember also being quite disappointed with the MP40 in this game as well. I guess just nothing really compares to the World at War version. But let's see how it gets along. Oh, wow. First thoughts. I forgot how fast this thing fires. It is a lot quicker than the other two we've just been using. One. Oh, jeez, that was so close. This thing definitely needs extended mags or something. Nice. Take that. Let's get down. Let's not get shot in the back. No, that's not how you break glass, you moron. Oh, man. Even when I had the first bullet on him, that was a huge, huge fail. This thing's good, but like... At range, like, you get caught off guard if you are not 100% accurate. This is kind of the gun that can never really be that bad, to be honest with you. Like, yeah, it may not be as good as World at War, but World at War is pretty ridiculous. But it's the MP40, you know what I mean? Everyone loves the MP40. Oh, no. What was that, Ali? Like, in close range situations. Unless you're against another MP40, you go into it with less health. This thing just melts people. This version of the weapon is a built-in laser sight, so its hip fire is even better. And it makes it just ridiculous. Oh, what? What are you doing? We've been hacked. Advanced Warfare is one of those cool duties that I want to like so much more than I do. Just because of little things. And I know I mentioned it a lot. Wow, that really showed how well this thing does with hit firing right there. Just shooting away. Come on, come on, come on. This guy's no idea. Nice, let's get this in. Oh my god, we are surrounded. I'm gonna pop my little stim. What is... I was about to say, if I got killed by that, I'd be so upset. Nice, our own system hack. You guys are getting hacked back. No! I'm so gutted I didn't get that kill. We would have been well onto all of our kill streaks. This is a close game as well. 22 to 23. I hear you. That's the great thing about hacking people is you can actually hear where people are. I just, I think, screw aim down sight on this one. Okay, I just I say that. I did aim down sight. Really, you could get away with most of your gunfights just by running around being like a goon like this. Like, <laughs> it's one of the easiest guns to use. <laughs> nice, 27 to 24. I wasn't sure if I was going to win this initially. <gasps> Warbird. This could change the tide of things. I've got to get aggressive on these guys now. Oh, God. Can I get away with this? Can I juke him out? Oh, no. That would be it. That would have been the game winner. <laughs> oh. I think he's hiding in the corner. There we go. Game, set, and match. And actually, in every situation, aside from World at War, where I knew the gun was just ridiculous, I just run around and people die in a few bullets. This gun is better than I remember it in both Advanced Warfare and Black Ops 3. Now, I was very generous with the STG's rating at the end of last video because I did do very well for my first game on every Call of Duty that I tried for the last video. And in this game, I'm going to have to be realistic and say that... It's going to go one of one of two ways. Either it's going to be that standard SMG where they, they make sure it's not too overpowered and it sits at about a 7 or an 8 
out of 10. Or they go all out. They make it World at War style MP40. And it is about a 9.5. This gun has ridiculous potential. And it is going to be one to look out for in a submachine gun category for Call of Duty World War 2. For sure, baby. So there we go, that wraps it up for episode number two of our Weapons of World War II series. I really enjoy recording these, it takes a little bit longer jumping on all the different consoles and all the different Call of Duties, but when, when I'm finished and I've, I've had a go with all the guns and all the games, it feels great and I really, really enjoy recording it for you guys. So thanks so much for watching, leave a suggestion for another weapon down below in the comment section. Let's, let me know which Call of Duty the weapons are in and I'll give it a go for you guys. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time on a brand new video.